Hey everybody, it is Mike from Get Fit Mike, uh, here for my weekly check-in, my weekly uh, weigh-in update. Um, this week has been uh, interesting, and I almost did not want to record this video, um, but I am because of the discipline. Whew, discipline is something I'm really just building in every area of my life right now. Um, and the accountability. So basically because I said that I would, I'm going to, you know, I have to do this every single week. Um, I know I missed like one week a few weeks ago and, and things can get busy, but I don't want to choose not to because I'm not happy with my results. So basically last week I weighed in at 219 point, I think 4.6, something like that. Um, I'd have to stop recording to look on my phone. Um, so I hit the 219s, um, but again, weight loss has been slow. It's slowing down. Um, and I think I've gained insight this week. So first let me share kind of what's happened and then the insight and what I want to do about it this upcoming week um, to grow. So um, this week, um, Sunday I ate brunch at Doe Bakery in Atlanta like I normally do. And uh, it was great. And um, then we randomly, my wife and I randomly hooked up with another couple uh, that we're friends with, um, and we ended up going to a free concert here in Atlanta, um, and then afterwards we were out all day, we ended up going out to eat, and I knew by that point that all the vegan restaurants that I frequent were closed, um, so they had recommended, you know, like, let's, you know, let's go out to eat, and so basically at that point I knew, like, okay, you know, we're going to be eating a cheap meal, um, so we went to Red Lobster, I was like, well, I haven't had Red Lobster, even though it's, I mean... To me, and I don't say this to sound snooty, but to me, Red Lobster is basic. Some people act like it's everything. Like, not my friends weren't, but <laughs> so it's not anything like that. But just some people, I just know it's being in Atlanta, like some people act like Red Lobster is everything or Olive Garden. I'm like, really? Because in Ohio, that's like, I don't know, it's just basic. And even here in Atlanta, it should be considered basic. Like, that's normal. But regardless, I don't know why I made that comment. Um, but I mean, I haven't been to Red Lobster in years. So, um, so I was like, all right, you know, let's go. I, you know, like their cheddar biscuits, all that. So we ended up um, following them. They ordered like one meal and shared it. And so my wife and I did the same thing, which was great. Not only did it save money, but it saved calories. Um, so we got the like choose your own three and then we shared, you know, everything down the middle. Um, but I gained from eating at Red Lobster, I literally gained four pounds. So Monday... You know, I'm doing the, I started the raw vegan cleanse. And um, between Monday and Tuesday, I had gained four pounds. Like on Monday, I think it was, uh, again, I should have remembered the weights better. But on Monday, it was something like I had gained two or three pounds. And then on Tuesday, I was up another one or two pounds. So I was up a total of four. Even though I had started eating raw vegan on Monday, I was still up on Tuesday. And I noticed that's like my pattern because I record my weight every day that when I cheat, it's typically not the next day, but the day after. So if I cheat on Sunday, it'll show up on Tuesday, really. If I cheat on a Wednesday, it'll really show up on the scale on Friday. So that's just how my body works. I've realized that. Um, so I continue to eat raw vegan through Friday. I did break it on Friday. I chose to do that on Thursday because it was just getting really hard and I was feeling really weak. I was having a hard time eating enough. I've very, like this is a very busy time for me at work um, here at the house there's just a lot between my fraternity work my LLC just a lot of things I got to do um, so basically I was having a hard time getting in calories I was feeling very weak I was getting irritable um, so I decided I wasn't gonna do it on Thursday because I'm like that's emotional but I'm going to allow myself on Friday if I want to to break and so I did eat like raw vegan throughout the day and then um I broke it for like di like a late lunch but it was really my dinner um so I ate vegan food and up until Friday before I broke it I got down to 217 point like four I think and then um so I was down which was good so not only had I taken off the four pounds that I had gained from Red Lobster but I was down another two and then when I ate vegan food on Friday, when I weighed in Saturday, I was 220.4, and now today I'm 220.2. So basically, I'm up like almost a pound, but I clearly gained four pounds, and it probably would have been more if I wasn't eating raw, because by eating raw on Monday, I'm quite confident that helped to negate some of it. And then um, 
I'd gone down, but now I have vegan food sitting in me, so now I'm back up a little bit. So it's just interesting. And it made me think, and I've been doing some research and really trying to think on it because I was getting a little frustrated with it, and um, there's no need to. I just need to find a resolution. So basically where I'm at is uh, I, I started looking at my calories I was eating when I eat vegan on a daily basis because I haven't been counting calories like I was the first month or two. Um, I basically just been doing intuitive eating. So if I'm hungry, I eat and I kind of know if I want vegetables or if I want fruit or if I want grain or whatever, even though I, you know, was having a hard time getting in, although I wasn't making good choices to get in the fruits and vegetables that I needed, um, for the last few weeks now, but I've been doing a lot of intuitive eating. And so I haven't been tracking calories. I've just been eating and that's fine. But again, if I'm not losing weight as quickly as I want, I'm losing weight but like a pound or two a week and some weeks I plateau. So I'm like, okay, well, how many calories am I eating? Because I feel like I'm probably eating more like maintenance calories. And that's probably what it is. Like I'm probably intuitively eating and eating what I need, but what I need to stay at this weight. And for me to lose weight, I clearly need to eat below that. I need to create a deficit, which is going to cause some pain, some hunger maybe, but that's just part of it. That's that's how weight loss works. So, um, so I added it up over the last um, two days that I've been eating vegan, and then I also just plugged in like what I would normally eat, like just different things. And I realized that eating vegan, I'm eating on average twenty seven hundred calories a day. I'm eating between twenty five hundred and three thousand. Uh, like yesterday, it was like 27 or 27.50. So that's just like right down the middle. Um, so I realized that's a lot. Like I'm eating a lot. And that's cool because when I eat junk food and regular, you know, just standard American diet, if I ate 3,000 calories, I'd be gaining weight like crazy. So the fact that I can, eat, you know, eat that much and, um, and I didn't work out this week again. We'll get to that. I'm slacking. But that's why I'm making the video. I'm being accountable and I'm working on it so I don't fall back. Um, but yeah, the fact that I can eat 3,000 calories and maintain 220 pounds, I'm cool with that. But I'm not done. I'm not at my goal weight. I'm not at the desired body type. So I need to make choices. So a few things that I'm going to do. One is um, I'm going to cap myself daily at... Um, I'm thinking 2,200 calories, um, and that'll create a good deficit. That'll create about a 500 calorie a day deficit. Um, so that's one pound a week right there. And then the other thing is I need to work out. If I'm not going to work out, then I need to eat like 1,700 calories. But if I do work out, then I can eat 2,200. Um, I'm going to do something different though with my eating, and I wanted to share that. I'm going to do something called IF, which is intermittent fasting. And I've been reading about it online. It's kind of a fad right now, and I'm normally not into fads like that. But um, but it seems to be working for people. So I'm like, like I'm more of a results. Like show me, show me before and after. <laughs> and if you're looking how I want to look, then I will do it. Um, except for eating meat and dairy. Yeah, but um, yeah, intermittent fasting is basically the one I'm going to do. It's where you fast for either a portion of the day. Or on a weekly basis, one day a week, maybe two days a week. I'm going to do it on a daily basis. So I'm going to fast 16 hours a day and eat for eight. But your sleep time counts. So I'm going to eat from 12 uh, noon to 8 p.m., which is popular. That's what a lot of people do. And the idea is that you still work out in the morning because um, then your body is feeding off of uh, your fat. And um, it increases like uh, growth hormones and fat oxidation and... Like, there's a ton of benefits. Just Google um, IF or intermittent fasting um, and research it for yourself. I'm not going to waste time on this video, at least. Um, maybe if I, after I'm doing it for a week or two minimum and I'm seeing, like, oh, yeah, this is cool, I'll do more. I'll do a video on it. But for right now, I'm just going to try it out. So I'm going to do that um, actually starting today. So I'm waiting until noon to eat brunch. But that's kind of normal for a Sunday. So tomorrow will be the real test when I wake up and I'm at work and I haven't ate yet. Um... So I'm going to do intermittent fasting, and so you get all of your calories in that window. So um, the other thing is I'm going to work out. I'm going to go work out after I do this vlog. I realize that I always said Monday is my 
day I'm going to start working out again. And then Monday morning comes and it's Monday and you feel like, uh, and I got to go to work and all that. And the weekend's over and my free time and all that. And you don't feel like working out. So I realized I need to work out. I actually purposed to work out yesterday. Um, but again, I, I, yeah, it was just, I don't know, it was just a busy day. So I didn't, but I'm going to go work out real quick right now. I'm going to do just a simple workout, but it'll be something to get me moving. Um, and then that should hopefully help me to work out tomorrow. Like it won't be as big of a deal because I'll, you know, kind of be back in that mindset. And after like three or four days, it'll be nothing, but it's just starting back up. So I just need to make myself go do it. So I'm going to work out. I'm going to try intermittent fasting this week. I'm going to eat vegan. Me high raw though. Uh, my game plan is I'm going to eat pretty much raw. Uh, like I work until five o'clock every day. So when I start eating from noon to five, I'm going to bring just raw food. I'm going to bring either about a cup of nuts or seeds. And I'm going to bring um, fruit. It'll either be like one personal watermelon or one cantaloupe or three, four bananas. Um, and then I think that's just the three types of fruit I really want this week. And then I'm also going to do greens. So that'll be my third like thing that I bring to work. So it'll be spinach and lettuce and then just a bed of veggies on it. Well, I guess that's the bed. So the veggies on that bed of <laughs> greens. Um, so I'm thinking I want like great tomatoes and peppers and the shredded carrots, um, maybe some mushrooms, and then I'll do a dressing on top of it. Um, so I'll eat those three things. That'll probably be roughly 1,200 calories. And then I'll have like a cooked vegan dinner when I get home. Uh, I'll cook, you know, between five and six and eat dinner around six or so. And then if I want, you know, I don't know anything else I can after that before eight o'clock. Um, and the cooked vegan dinner will probably be about 500 calories, maybe up to 700. So that all that on average gets me right around where I want to be. Um, and then during the fasting, so after 8 p.m. and then in the morning up until noon, I can only drink water black coffee and tea. I do not drink black coffee because I like creamer and dairy and sugar in it. Um, so I will be doing uh, just tea and water. Um, so that's the game plan for this week. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I, I think I'm just really trying to look at it more as a cut phase though. I've been reading more and more and more on bodybuilders and what they do. Um, and uh, I don't know, that's just kind of how I'm looking. I'm trying to shift my mentality. I think I'm slowing down, like, okay, cool, the gut's gone for the most part and all that, but it's just, I don't know, just time to switch it up maybe a little bit, get more intensity in my uh, eating and working out. All right, so until next week, um, y'all be blessed, go work out, pray for me that I work out this week like I'm supposed to. <laughs> Bye.